Let's also bring on board Vishal Malkan uh, to talk to us about the markets. Vishal, uh, very good uh, afternoon. Thank you so much for joining with us on ET now. Um, Vishal, let's start with your view coming in just on the overall benchmark indices as well as in terms of uh, if you would look at the Nifty Bank also, what is it that we're watching out here? Good afternoon. I think uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty are sustaining about uh, the resistance levels which were there for 24, uh, 24,500 and 52,400 for both uh, respectively. That means there is an under, undertone which is very strong though the indices are not going in a big way but we have sector performance and stock specific movement are great so we should focus on that. Right. Uh, Vishal, uh, you know let's talk about some of these um, individual moves and especially in the nifty realty you know what's your thought coming in for nifty realty while obviously you know when you look at it in terms of a ytd performance overall the nifty realty pack has seen a sharp run up uh, do we still expect the run up coming uh, in ahead of the budget as well and do you think that infra maybe says that's the focus that would be on the budget uh, that could something be pushing further more the nifty realty and infra side Yes, I think so because uh, if you see, uh, Reality had a very big move in, in the last part of 2023. But since last few months, it has been in the consolidation low zone, especially like stocks like DLF. So it's uh, it's the consolidation is so strong and so long. Now it's high time and looking at the patterns and uh, volumes, it looks like there can be further upside to all this Reality and infra stocks. Looking at even look, considering the budget is on 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 the next week. And when it comes to the Nifty Bank, after seeing a seller rally uh, in the previous month uh, for the past uh, few trading sessions, what we are seeing is that the ba uh, Nifty Bank Index has been consolidating around that 52,420 levels. Uh, do you expect a breakout when it comes to the Nifty Bank Index anytime soon or it will continue to consolidate for some time now or for some more time now? I think the consolidation looks like a, a few more days before we have the budget. So, of course, we need to break that 53,000 mark on a closing basis to have a further upside. So, it's basically range bound. So, as of now, we can avoid trading in Bank Nifty till we see a breakout or a breakdown on either side of the of the range which has created in the last few trading sessions. So, if uh, you had to choose between the PSUs and the private bank, uh, which looks uh, much more uh, attractive at this moment? I would like to go for private banks and especially the uh, the top performer would be ICICI Bank which has uh, given solid returns in the last year also and uh, this year also the chart looks very strong on daily, weekly and monthly chart and it's it's the momentum indicators or the patterns, everything is in the green zone. So I think ICICI Bank would be the best bet in private sector. Right, uh, Vishal, you know also what are your top picks that you're looking at you know right now? So I'm looking at a couple of stocks. Uh, one of them is going to be uh, Canfin Home, uh, which is uh, consolidating between that 850 and 900 range. But today it has given a good move, crossing that 890 resistance in the last four days. So that's my buy pick for today with a stop loss of 888. And targets would be around 920 and 930 for the next few trading sessions. And the second one would be Deepak Nitrite, which has also broken the resistance of 2800. And if it goes, if it sustains about this on a closing basis, we can look at targets of 2875 to 2900 in the next few trading sessions. Right. Also, Vishal, you know, just want to know ahead of the budget or for the budget, anything specifically that you are looking at in terms of stocks or sectors? I think what we just mentioned, what we just discussed, that infra and reality stocks would be the best bet. Uh, pre-budget as well as post-budget because that's where most focus is going to be and so infrastructure is the is the leading sector as of now. Uh, also, uh, have you happened to look at the charts for the oil marketing and the oil refining companies, be it MRPL, Chennai Petro, HPCL, BPCL, all have been buzzing in trade, some kind of a breakout or uh, uh, do you expect this uh, upside, uh, do you see more upside when it comes to uh, the oil marketing companies and Yes, as, as we say during a falling market, don't catch the bottom. We also say that don't catch the top. So there's definitely upside on, on this oil marketing companies and especially looking at ONGC, which is the big boy. I think uh, there's a breakout on the monthly chart. So we can look at further upside in this particular stock at least at least 10 to 15%. Vishal, you know, thank you so much for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now, talking to us about individual stocks. What's looking good even just before the budget as well. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.